Hey guys, Aiden here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is looking ahead to tomorrow night's Scottish Cup tie against St Mirren at Tynecastle Park. Massive chance for the men in Maroon to get back to the National Stadium and reach the Scottish Cup semi-final. There's a lot to discuss going into that game, so if you're ready for it, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on tomorrow night's tie with the buddies. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, it's probably the best place to start actually. The Battle of Tanadice claimed a ridiculous amount of Hearts injuries. Six players went off injured and a lot of them are doubtful for Saturday night's game. Now, I'm going to run you through the players and see where they are in terms of their fitness. Gary Mackay Stevens broken his hand, Michael Smith still got an ongoing back issue and Alex Cochran has a sit out with concussion so all three of them aren't going to play against St Mirren. John Souter is doubtful with his ankle injury and so is Cammy Devlin with his hamstring. However, Josh Ginelli and Nathaniel Atkinson should be available to play. Craig Calcutt has been in light training this week so hopefully he should start and if required some of Stephen Naismith's under 18 squad will get brought in for the bench to fill places if there's players missing that can't sit on the bench. Going off both teams recent form, Hearts are definitely favourites to progress into the semi-final of the cup. In the last five games, Hearts have picked up two wins, two draws and one loss. The wins were over Aberdeen and St Mirren, always helpful. The draws were with Livingston and Dundee United and of course the draw with Livingston eventually saw us through to this game in the cup on penalties and the loss was away to St Johnson which wasn't great. But let's move on swiftly. St Mirren have picked up one win against Dundee late on a few nights ago where Conor Ronan scored a 90th minute win after grab all three points at Dens Park. They've drew to Livingston and have lost to Hearts, Celtic and Ross County. Hearts have also won all three meetings between Hearts and St Mirren this season. So for that reason, I do think Hearts are going to make it four and get to Hamden. Now, 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 let's have a think. What players that I feel could be dangerous for Hearts tomorrow night? First of all, Liam Boyce. He's back in goal scoring form after his exploits at Tannadice and absolutely beautiful finish by the way. Cracked it in off the post and do you know what? I think he's going to score again tomorrow night. Put the house on it. I don't care if you win by good for you. If not, well, I'm not a betting account. Don't blame me. But all jokes aside, I think Liam Boyce is going to score tomorrow night. When he's confident, when he's firing, there's no better striker to have at your disposal. And I think he is going to find the net tomorrow night. Second of all, Barry Mackay. The assist machine still hasn't scored for Hearts. It's driving me mad knowing that he's not got a goal yet. And do you know what? Do you know what? What better time to score your first heart goal than to send the club to Hamden? I'd love that. You'd love that. He would absolutely love that, I'm sure. He's come close to scoring St Johnson away. He almost found the net, although Atkinson gobbled up the rebound to put the ball in there anyway. But Mackay's due a goal. Barry Mackay is so, so due a goal. And you know what? The Scottish Cup could be the time for him to finally get his shooting boots laced on properly. Another player that I feel can have an impact, if he plays due to the midfield injury situation, Aaron Makarev, the forgotten man of Gorgie. When given a chance, he's been very good. That goal he scored against Dundee United was absolute filth. The goal at Celtic was also a very good finish, but Dundee United at home is a perfect example. He got brought on with not much time left. He was going box to box, running about, and scored that lovely chip to put the seal on a 5-2 victory. Aaron McInerney deserves more of a chance. Obviously, Benny and Devlin, first choice. They're obviously going to get played, more or less, every single week. But McInerney is a quality player. He deserves his time to shine. And this game is a perfect chance if he plays to Sam's authority. And once again, say to Robbie Nielsen that he's still very much got a part to play in this Hearts team. As for players, I feel will be dangerous for St Mirren. Conor Ronan is absolutely up there. The on-loan midfielder is St Mirren's top goal scorer this season with seven goals and he's very, very dangerous at attack. However, it all depends which Conor Ronan shows up. The Conor Ronan that scored a 90th minute winner at Dens Park the other day, or the Conor Ronan that got sent off against Hearts about 20 minutes in. So you see, it's like the flip of a coin. You're just not sure which Conor Ronan is going to show up against Hearts. I'm hoping it's the one that got red carded, not the one that scores late winners, because on his day, he's very dangerous, a very good player, and one that Hearts need to keep quiet at Tynecastle tomorrow night. Eamon Brophy is another player that I really hope has a quite awful Saturday night tomorrow. He's a very good player, solid SPFL, proven striker, 
and one that I feel that if Hearts don't keep quiet, he could easily punish us. He scored against Hearts before and I'm sure he'd love to do it again. So, for our sake, Eamon, please don't have your shooting boots on tomorrow night. But you never know, he could pop up with a late goal. It's just football. You've got to wait and see what happens. I just really hope that some of them aren't playing to their strength tomorrow night because they're a very good side. Don't get me wrong. We've won all the meetings, that's to no credit against St Mirren, they're still a very good side, they've picked up good results this season and I do feel like on their day they can still hurt us, especially with the injury situation. Hopefully Hearts do have a good strength team out tomorrow night, but St Mirren are still a very good side and if we're playing slack, the buddies could easily punish us. Hopefully the Tynecastle crowd can roar Hearts on tomorrow night to a massive, massive victory and spin us on into the Scottish Cup semi-final. Thank you very much for watching this match preview. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Click there to subscribe and click there for some more Hearts content. It's my first day reporting on Hearts for Energy Sport tomorrow night, so there'll be no match day vlog. I'm sorry, however. Keep an eye on my Twitter for my match report after the game. Thank you very much and hopefully next time I speak to you on here, I'll have reached Hamden. Until then, take care and bye for now.